Have you ever thought about sales? Has anyone ever asked you that question? It's a conversation that's ongoing. I have it almost every other day, sometimes every day. And the reason I ask the question is because I keep hearing the same story over and over again, which is I'm working, I'm putting in 40, 50 hours a week. Sometimes I'm doing overtime. Uh, I have a second job so that I can bring in additional income because I am a parent or I have some, some debt that I want to get out of or I'm saving up to buy a home, etc. And when you look at the dynamics of what makes up so much of this country of ours is there's a lot of hardworking people that are putting in the time because they want to provide a better way of life. Now, there are a couple of challenges with this traditional model, which means if I'm working a job and let's say I put in the overtime, I get time and a half, and let's say I'm making 25, 30 bucks an hour. Well, if I'm working 10 hours a day, 50 hours a week, do the math on that, that's 300 bucks a day, uh, which is going to be $1,500 for the week, which is not bad, right? It's not, it's not nothing to sneeze at on that. If I do time and a half, plus what am I making on my second job? Well, the dynamics of working a second job don't always work out because you, you end up, you, you make less on your second job than you do on your first. And the gas and the time and the expense that you, that you expend going to the second job, and if you make a little bit more money and you have a little bit higher tax bracket, they end up taking, out, taking it back in taxes anyway, so it doesn't always work out. But my point is, is that there's only 24 hours in a day. There's only one of you. So there's this ceiling on your income, number one. Number two, if you're working a job, there's some familiarity with that job. So you know how to do it, but it doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a lot of growth. And also, if you wanted to or needed to double, triple, quadruple your income on your current job, you may work a ton of overtime, but your the, 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 the opportunity for you to really double or triple or quadruple your income for most jobs is completely non-existent. So now you have this ceiling that you keep hitting when you are wanting to bring more income into the household. So I always ask people, have you ever thought about sales? Now, the, the, the looks that I get and, and the, the, the responses, they fall within a certain category. Some people are like, no, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not a salesperson or I hadn't really thought about it. Or, you know what, I've been wanting to you know, do something on my own. They just don't know what it is. Now, let's talk about that first response. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not a salesperson. Well, everybody's a salesperson. You, you just sold yourself that you're not a salesperson. You just made a sale. Sales is a very natural part of life. There is nothing that happens, moves, or takes place until something is sold. Someone had to sell you on purchasing your internet packet. Somebody had to sell you on getting a certain type of uh, cell phone, whether if it's an iPhone or a Droid. Somebody had to sell you on your operating system. Somebody had to sell you on the home that you, you live in, the cars that you, you drive, the neighborhood that you live in. You're selling your kids on the virtues of being on time and making their beds and eating their vegetables. You sold your spouse on marrying you. You sold your employer on getting that promotion. You sold uh, somebody on buying into your idea. Sales is a natural part of life. It is an everyday occurrence. And for those people that say, oh, I'm not a salesperson, they're just not paying attention because they're doing it whether they want to acknowledge it or not. So that's number one. Number two, you know, I hadn't really thought about it, but, you know, I... Um, I think I want to think I want to, you know, yeah, you know, I, I could I can consider it. That's a person who understands that it's a part of their daily mechanism because you're not going into a place of business. You're not going into a store. You're not going out shopping without purchasing something where a sale takes place. So then they, they, they start to think about it a little bit. And then the person that says, hey, you know, I've been wanting to open up my own business or do something on my own, but I don't know what it is. Well, that's about getting educated. It's all about getting educated, but that person's a little bit further along. But let's talk about the importance and the necessity and the power of sales. Why would you want to do sales and why it's such a powerful tool? Number one, most people have a misconception about sales. So they think about the used car salesman. They think about somebody that's trying to get over on you. I can sell ice to an Eskimo. I can sell anything to anybody. That's just foolish Anybody that says that is a fool and a moron and is stupid. It doesn't happen. Nobody can do that. It's ridiculous. Sales is about service. 
Sales is about finding a way to add value to a situation and then presenting that that option and then allowing that person to make an informed, intelligent decision about improving the quality of their life as a result of purchasing your product, your opportunity, your idea, okay? So that's what sales is all about. So if you lead from a servant leadership spirit, a servant leadership heart, sales becomes easy, it's seamless, it's a very simple conversation because if you're genuinely wanting to add value to someone's situation, sales becomes like, it's just, it's like that. So you come into my, my luxury car dealership, and you're looking at a Rolls Royce or a Maybach or a Phantom or whatever. And I'm like, say, I'm like, listen, you know, you want luxury? Well, this is top of the line. Here's why you deserve to have this automobile because it has this, this, and this, and this. And I know for a fact that once you take a ride in this and you have that experience, you're going to feel even more confident and better about yourself because you're realizing I am worthy, I am deserving. I'm adding value to that person. I'm expanding their life experience. I'm, I'm expanding and opening up doors for them because when they drive up in the Rolls Royce, Everybody looks at them differently. Now when they have an idea or they're going to a meeting, people are gonna pay a little bit more attention because they're driving up in a Rolls Royce. I just added tremendous value to this person and that Rolls Royce purchase could actually open up the, the, the floodgates to another solid 10, 15, 20 million or more in income just because they made that purchase. So sales has a lot of different dynamics to it. Uh, whether you're selling someone on getting in shape, you're selling someone on having a healthy relationship, you're selling someone on building and cultivating their spiritual walk. Um, it's all about adding value, okay? And what is required of you from a, a sales perspective? You have to be self-aware. You have to work on and develop yourself and your interpersonal developmental skills. You gotta build your mindset. You gotta be positive. You gotta be focused. You gotta be driven. You gotta be determined. You gotta be able to build rapport with people. You have to be able to be a very good listener. Sales is about listening. It's not about talking, it's about listening. The sales that I make, I'm talking 20% of the time and I'm listening 80% of the time. <clears throat> so that's how you build and create success and very strong alliances and relationships. And when people are doing business with me, they understand they're, they're getting involved with a very high quality experience, a very high quality product and a very high quality servant leader in me. So they're gonna have a great experience, which means they're gonna to wanna to do business with me again and again and again. And not only that, even if we don't do business, they're gonna to wanna to give me referrals because they know I'm gonna take good care of whoever that person is that they bring into my sphere. So sales requires so much of you to become better. And I love that because a lot of people have jobs and they've been, they've been performing the same job the same way for 20 years and they'll say, oh, I've been, you know, I got 20 years of experience. No, you, you have one year of experience repeated over 20 years. That's what a lot of people, that's their situation. Now, in terms of the, the, the ability to remove the lid, unlike when you have a job and you're working a second job and there's a cap because there's only 24 hours a day, seven days a week, when you are building and developing your skills as a salesperson, you can increase your income exponentially in a short period of time. So you may, make $1,500 a week on your job, but you can make $1,500 a day in sales. You can make $1,500 an hour in sales, depending upon what you're selling. So building, cultivating the skills of selling is very, very important. Understanding how sales can lead to leverage. And what leverage does is that it takes you beyond the power of one. Now I can build something from a sales perspective where I have 1% of the efforts of 100 people instead of only 100% of my own efforts. When I have 1% of the efforts of 100 people because of what I've learned in sales, I can create an income that comes in 24 hours a day, seven days a week in multiple time zones. And that's the importance of learning the skill. So I wanna submit to you that if you've never considered sales, well, get informed before you make a decision like you're, it's not for you, you, you know, you're not built for that. The, some of the most successful salespeople are introverts, by the way. They're quiet, they're to themselves, but they're very good because they understand the importance of bringing value to the marketplace. So there's room for everybody in the sales profession. Sales is the highest paid profession in the world, if not one of the highest. So it gives you that opportunity to take the lid off. It gives you a way to hit your income goals. It gives you a way to make money 24 hours a day, seven days a week in multiple time zones. It gives you a way to constantly be better, to constantly never ending improvement on yourself and your communication skills, your leadership skills, 
your your ability to relate and connect with people. There's so much uh, upside to sales and the mental toughness that you have to develop, the ability to uh, weather the storms and to be a problem solver. It's the, the, there's so much more benefit than anything else. And you're going to work hard in this as you would in anything else. It's just that the rewards are so much higher than what they are for the standard bearer, which is, you know, 60,000 a year, $5,000 a month. That's the average, you know, income in our country. Whereas in sales, you can generate that in a very short period of time, consistently over a long period of time where you can take your income up 10x, 20x because of the power of sales. So I encourage you to get educated, to get informed so that you can make a decision that's going to help you truly improve the quality of your life and your finances, to put your kids in better schools, to put your family in a better situation and to build a legacy that will live long after you're gone.